Christ, the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And also Kyrie eleison. Lord have mercy. Christe eleison. Christ have mercy. Kyrie eleison. Lord have mercy.
Almighty God, you made this holy night shine with the brightness of the true light. Grant that here on earth we may walk in the light of Jesus' presence and in the last day wake to the brightness of his glory. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Our first reading is from Isaiah. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who lived in a land of deep darkness, on them light has shined. You have multiplied the nation, you have increased its joy. They rejoice before you as with joy at the harvest, as people exult when dividing plunder. For the yoke of their burden and the bar across their shoulders, the rod of their oppressor, you have broken as on the day of Midian. For all the boots of the tramping warriors and all the garments rolled in blood shall be burned as fuel for the fire. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the mighty God, the everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. His authority shall grow continually, and there shall be endless peace for the throne of David and his kingdom. He will establish and uphold it with justice and with righteousness from this time onward and forevermore. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We will read our psalm responsively. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all the earth. Sing to the Lord. Bless the name of the Lord. Proclaim God's salvation. Declare God's glory among the nations and God's wonders among all peoples. Great is the Lord, and great is the Christ. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Tremble before the Lord all the earth. Tell it out among the nations. The Lord is King, the one who made the world so firm that it cannot be moved, who judge the peoples with it. Let the heavens rejoice, and let the earth be glad. For joy at your coming, O Lord, for you come to govern the earth. You will rule the world with righteousness, and the peoples in your truth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from Titus. For the grace of God has appeared, bringing salvation to all, training us to renounce impiety and worldly passions, and in the present age to live lives that are self-controlled, upright, and godly, while we wait for the blessed hope and the manifestation of the glory of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ. He it is who gave himself for us that he might redeem us from all iniquity and purify for himself a people of his own who are zealous for good deeds. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
Friends, the Holy Gospel of the Lord according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. And it came to pass in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. And this taxing was first made when Cyrenius was governor of Syria. And all went to be taxed, every one into his own city. And Joseph also went up from Galilee, out of the city of Nazareth, into Judea, unto the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and the lineage of David, to be taxed with Mary, his espoused wife, being great with child. And so it was that while they were there, the days were accomplished that she should be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. And there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them, and they were sore afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not. For behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy that shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. You shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying glory to God in the highest and on earth peace, goodwill toward men and women. The gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. People of God, grace, mercy, and peace to you from the Holy One who sends the word with an angel, who is made flesh among all peoples, and who breathes peace on all the earth. Amen. So, who'd call it heaven? That small stinky stall is more suited for bugs than for babies to crawl. Or uh, who'd call it heaven? That manger where asses and oxen are greedy to graze greener grasses. And who'd call it heaven? That barn's beasts have seen them packed in like sardines with no six feet between them. So who'd call it heaven? This place is a stable. Still, name heaven better than this if you're able. An aspect of heaven that barnyard might bless is something called stable when earth's called a mess. And when all our homes are locked down, who supposed that stable stayed open when everything closed? Supply chains get broken, carpenters furloughed, inflation increases like underpaid workload, schools brace for danger, and kids can't afford using hospital beds for a maternity ward when viruses hide in the air we all breathe. So politicians get angry and governments see. 
and old friends and families fight. Who's welcome where? Because there's more than one sickness infecting our air. Some pack to escape to a fancy hotel or a spa or a workshop with self-help to sell, but all we've been buying just leaves us in debt. So heaven's a hope left unrealized. Unrealized yet. I bet they feel hopeless. And yes, each is a saint. Their faith is amazing. The times they face ain't. Ask Joseph, who's furloughed and far from a job, who doesn't want Mary to know how he sobs when nobody's looking, but we all know he's cried. The soon-to-be father who wants to provide, but can't wants to keep Mary safe, but he can't, wants to keep his kids safe, God's kids safe, but he can't. Yet he clings to God's dream as he knocks on each door, and his kid will admire him. Blessed are the poor in spirit, in body, in mind, in advance, could heaven be free, be that stable, perchance? Or ask Mary. She's prayed for stability, too, to balance her dreams like other souls do. To grow up in wisdom and stature and pride. To not be condemned for whom God's raised inside. For here she is, pregnant, and she carries high risk. But more than compassion, she gets tisk, tisk, tisk. Her immunity's compromised. Her choices are few. The nurse at the desk says, there's no room here for you. She came to be taxed on a visit abroad with no grace for a stranger and no welcome for God. Life's taxing. Life's scary. Still, she lives unafraid as God answered with stable, when help me, she prayed. And friends, that date could be any because no records were kept. And the dust settled down and that stable's been swept. Its memory's been scrubbed with a pious intent to sanitize hands that so long ago sent our sister, our brother, our sibling that night to hide in that stable and stay out of our sight. But doesn't this Eve don't these rituals show there's something God stable still wants us to know? It's magic, miraculous love that defines the word simple stable with starlight that shines hotter than fevers or festive mold wines or tempers, more bright than no vacancy signs in neon. They lean on in that stable place, each other's stability, rely on pure grace. And graciously there in this stable, embrace our hope when we're hopeless, God's love face to face. And it's not what's expected. This is not how we planned. This thing we call stable, we now understand is more than financial security or the next job opportunity or trip to the shore or getting our way without compromise. 
now what's stable is loving each other somehow in life's instability now in this stables the only stability the holy stability turning our tables and now heaven is realized where the unseen whom spiritual if not religious may deem a mystery a fairy tale myth or a fable is love whose high glory is peace for our stable where god's flesh and bone is the same as our own where emmanuel jesus means we're not alone and you'd call it heaven to find you're now able to hold love and be loved in this place named stable amen
We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us sit or kneel as we bring our prayers before our Lord. Come, children of heaven, come, children of earth, come pray for the church and the world of God's birth. Come pray for the flock of the Good Shepherd's keeping as saints are awoken to hope from their sleeping. Come pray for the earth trampled under our feet to rest like the hay in the manger so sweet. Come pray for each spirit or body or mind that longs for new life, now this baby to find. Come pray for this roof and these walls in this winter. Come pray for the warmth of this refuge we enter. Come pray for all infants delivered to life. Tonight we are all children delivered from strife. Come pray for the pledge named Emmanuel Jesus that God has come near. And God's love never flees us. He came to us first. Now we come and we pray. Amen. Let it be Jesus Christ, perfect day. And the peace of Christ be with you always. And also with you. Let us rise and share signs of God's love and peace with one another. Gracious God, your word made flesh brings harmony to the earth. As we offer ourselves and these your gifts, prepare us to receive the grace and truth you offer at this table, and renew in us the song of your salvation. In Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. should at all times and in all places give thanks and praise to you, almighty and merciful God, through our Savior Jesus Christ. In the wonder and mystery of the Word made flesh, you have opened the eyes of faith to a new and radiant vision of your glory that beholding the God made visible, we may be drawn to love the God whom we cannot see. And so with all the choirs of angels, with the church on earth and the hosts of heaven, we praise your name and join their unending hymn. God is good. 
Let us thank God for our food, for by God's hand we all are fed. Give us, Lord, our daily bread. We remember the night in which our Savior was betrayed. The Lord Jesus took bread, gave thanks, and broke it, and gave it for them to eat, saying, Take and eat. This is my body given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. Again, after supper, he took the cup. He gave thanks and gave it for all to drink, saying, Take and drink. This cup is the New Testament in my blood, shed for you and for all people for the forgiveness of sin. Do this for the remembrance of me. So we remember his birth, his life, his death, his resurrection. We pray for the Holy Spirit to come among us, and we offer our sacrifice of thanks and praise. Come, Lord Jesus, be our guest, and let these gifts to us be blessed. Amen. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our God, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, power, and glory, forever and ever. Amen. In Christ's manger, at Christ's table, come. See what God has made known for you. Thanks be to God.
pride is different from being weak. A lot of pride is shut. Pride is pride is different from being weak. A lot of pride is shut. Pride is pride is different from being weak. A lot of pride is shut. Pride is pride is different from being weak. A lot of pride is shut.
gathered around the Christ, now his body and blood strengthen you and keep you in his grace. Amen. We thank you, wondrous God, for Jesus, God with us, in these gifts of bread and wine. As we have shared this feast of love, strengthen us to share your love with all the world. In Jesus' name we pray. And the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord smile on you and be gracious unto you. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Amen.